Jean-Claude Van Damme, hates me to this day. Why? Predator. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, I made, <laughs> I attempted to make a Predator suit for Jean-Claude Van Damme for the original Predator long before Stan Winston got involved in it. And it was an absolute disaster. Let's, let's backtrack. It was ahead of its time. <laughs> it was like way ahead of its time. But, you know, to cut to the chase, it didn't work. And, you know, Jean-Claude was hired specifically to do his martial arts. <laughs> but he had leg extensions, backward bent leg extensions, arm extensions, he'd, head extensions. He could, the guy couldn't even pee, never mind, you know, walk. And he's supposed to be doing martial arts and, 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 and uh, killing these mercenaries in the, on the muddy slopes of Puerto Vallarta. Uh-uh. It didn't work. It was just, uh, why am I crucifying myself? You know what? Read the chapter of the book. It's actually much funnier than this. And there are reasons behind it. But Jean-Claude, I will never forget, he just had fallen off the turnip truck from Brussels, and he was so excited to come make his mark and be a star in Hollywood. And no one bothered to tell him that the first suit that we made for him was red. It looked like kind of a Power Rangers thing. And it was red because all we were going to do is use it as an optical mat against the deep green of the jungle for the camouflage effect. And so we do fitting after fitting, and Jean-Claude is getting increasingly agitated, and finally he just pulls off this cheap Power Rangers looking head, throws it on the floor, goes, I hate this head, I hate it, I hate, I hate this suit, I look like a superhero. And I'm like, it, it, it dawned on me that no one had bothered to tell him that it was meant to just be, you know, to pull a mat for the thing, that we were actually building a highly detailed suit that ultimately would never work anyway. And on top of that, no one ever told him that it'd be invisible for half the picture. So, yeah, I'd hate to run into JCVD in a dark alley these days. That might be bad. Tune in next week for another tasty treat from Rubberhead. And more importantly, mark your calendars, kids, for January the 13th. That's Friday the 13th, 2017 for the worldwide debut of the actual book at IMATS Los Angeles.